This is video 19 and in the previous video we uh, set up the global variables list <coughs> for this little exercise that we're doing. And in this video we're going to use our timer and set up our timer and set up our counter. So if we read the activity it tells us that the cycle must repeat four times. So the counter will have to, our CTU counter, which we created in our global variables list, will have to count to four and then interrupt the cycle. And the uh, timer, also within the activity, it tells us that uh, there should be a three second delay. So we'll have to set our timer with a three second delay. So to do that, if we go to the first tab along and in the timers, because I'll just show you on the global variables list, we have already created a timer. Timer 1, it's an on delay timer, TOM timer. And we've created a counter, counter 1, and it's an up, count up counter, so CTU. So because we've created those in our global variables list, we can call those items. So if we go into timers and press F2 and go to our global variables list, we will be able to find this timer and we can call the timer in. Now we have items to set up in within this area because we need to tell the ti this timer what the input trigger will be and we have to tell it how much time it should uh, count or should time. Uh, we can also later in the following videos we will use an output from this Q value to trigger the next step into our sequence and we can also use this elapsed time out value so that uh, we can visualize the actual time that the count that the timer is at. So in in the area in area if we press F2 we will use the timer one input to trigger timer one to start. And in the uh, the actual time value PT value we will press T hash and it's a three second timer. So three S and you, you see it goes this marine colour. So that's our timer set up. It's that simple. So that'll sit and be and wait and it'll be ready to run uh, once that once this trigger timer one input happens. So we can also then uh, set up our counter. So into the counter, again, F2, and find the counter, counter 1, and again with a few pieces to set up. So this uh, count up value, this trigger for counting up, will be counter 1 input. And our reset, at the minute I'm just going to set the reset to use the start button to reset. And our value, when we look at the little activity, it has to count to 4. So the PV value will, will be 4. And we can also use the Q value, whenever the program's running, we can use the Q value to trigger the next step in the cycle. And we can use this count value out to visualize what the, actual, what the count value actually is at any moment in time. So you'll see that in later videos. So we'll come back to the next video and um, I'll show you how to set up our start-stop program.